supplies you'll need you'll just need a yarn needle some scissors a small crochet hook some scrap yarn I'm using some pink yarn I had sitting around and then I'll be using blue yarn for my project all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find our black hook on our machine and it's this one right here this one is really important you want to make sure you're paying attention to it because it'll help you keep track of your rows next we're gonna take our scrap yarn and I'm using Karen Simply Soft. This has worked the best for me in this machine. So I would highly recommend this too. And you're going to take your yarn and wrap it around your hand three to four times. And then drop it right in the center. So next, you're going to take your yarn. You're going to hook it around your black hook. Turn your handle clockwise and hook on every other hook. So you'll go around one and hook the other. Go around one, hook the other. Go around one. Whoops. Go around one, hook the other, and you'll complete this all the way around until you reach your black hook again. All right, so we are back at our black hook. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our yarn in our yarn guide. And you want to make sure your yarn guide is on the right side of this black hook. Next you're going to take your yarn and hold it between two of your fingers. You're going to hold it really lightly so it can slide in between. And then we're going to complete three to four rows with our scrap yarn. So on these first few rows you really want to take your time. Make sure you don't drop any stitches because that'll be really important at the end. And you can put your yarn wherever you want. For me, I've been putting it in a basket on the floor that just makes it flow a little bit better in this machine. So here we are in round three. We'll go ahead and do one more. That's what I mean by dropping a stitch. You don't want to do that. Alright, so there's round four. Next we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut our yarn. You can cut it about eight inches. It doesn't really have to be a specific length, just long enough so you can find it at the end. Then we're going to take our yarn and we're going to drop it right in the center of the machine. Next we're going to take our project yarn. This is going to be the main color. This is Karen Simply Soft and Royal Blue. So we're just going to take this one, put it in our basket on the floor. Then we're going to take our yarn, we're going to wrap it around our hand three to four times. Drop it right inside. Put it in our yarn guide. And then we'll start with our black hook again. Turn your handle clockwise. And we're going to continue this for 80 rows. You can do more rows if you need a bigger headband, or you can do less rows if you need a smaller headband. But I would recommend 80 because it's about 20 inches for me. And it also stretches, so you don't want to make it too big because then it'll just fall off of your head. So we'll just do a few more rows. And then I'll go finish mine, and I will meet you guys back once we have 80 rows. So remember, take your time on these first few. Go slow, find your groove, you don't want to go too fast. And make sure your yarn is loose, you don't want to hold it too tight. Alright, so I'm finishing my fifth round. I will meet you guys back once we have 80 rounds.
All right, so we finished our 80 rows. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut our yarn. And remember you wanna cut a tail about eight to 12 inches. You just wanna make sure it's long enough for you to use at the very end. So now we're gonna take it out of the yarn guide and throw it right in the middle of our project. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and grab our scrap yarn. So you're gonna take it, wrap it around your hand three or four times, drop it in the middle, place it right near your yarn guide, and we're gonna do three to four rounds of this. So just like before, take your time. You don't wanna go too fast. All right, so now we're gonna do our very last round with our scrap yarn. All right, so now we finished our last round. So we're gonna go ahead and cut our yarn one last time. Then we're gonna toss it right in the middle. And next we're gonna crank our handle until all of your work falls off. And it should just slip right off after a couple times around. Just like that. All right. So, if I could get it off. This is what your work should look like once it comes off of the machine. So go ahead and grab your crochet hook and then we'll come right back and we'll finish up our project. All right, so now that we've taken our work off of the machine, this is what it should look like. Um, we wanna make sure our tails are on the left side because we're getting ready to stitch this thing up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold it in half, make sure your tails are somewhat at the end. Fold it in half as best as you can. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started in this very first stitch right here. So you're gonna slip your hook underneath this first stitch. Then you're gonna slip stitch underneath. Go to the other side, slip stitch underneath. And you're gonna repeat this all the way down to the end. And just be mindful when you're slip stitching that you pick up the first row and not this second row here. So really make sure you're paying attention. So we're just gonna finish this all the way down. All right, so we're coming up on the end here. We'll just slip stitch in this very last stitch. Then we'll pull our tail through. All right, so from here, we are going to pull our scrap yarn out. I found it easiest to slowly unravel it, but you can cut it if you need to. It's scrap yarn, so it really doesn't matter. So it's, it's your preference, but I like to try to pull it first, and then if it's being difficult, I'll just go in and cut it. So go ahead and remove your scrap yarn, and then I will meet you guys once we've taken that out. All right, so once you've taken out all of your scrap yarn, it should look something like this on the end. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. So remember to slip stitch all the way across, pull your tail through, and pull your scrap yarn out and once you're finished we will go ahead and join our project all right so now that we've completed both sides we're going to go ahead and fold our work in half long ways so just fold it over now we're going to bring our ends together and from here we're going to overlap our ends so just tuck one inside of the other so when you put it together the sides are gonna come together just like that. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and thread our yarn needle. So 
So now that we have our yarn needle threaded, we're gonna go ahead and sew our work together. So just make sure you can see all the ends. And then we'll just start sewing across like you normally do. Nothing fancy, just make sure you get all the sides together so it doesn't fall apart. So we're gonna do this all the way down. So here we are finishing sewing both sides together. So we're gonna go ahead and tie a little knot down here. Uh-oh. And then we'll go ahead and tie one more. One more knot. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and weave in our end. Now we're gonna cut it. Cut your tail. We're gonna cut this one as well. Just nice and tucked in there, we'll cut that one. So this is what your work should look like once you've stitched it together. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip this inside out. And now your headband is complete. So this is what it should look like when you're finished. Um, these are really easy to work up. I really like these, especially for pop-up shops or last-minute events. So if you have a last-minute project you need to do or a last-minute gift, I would highly recommend this. Alright guys, so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them below in the comment section. And of course, subscribe to my channel. We'll have plenty of crochet videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs. We have a lot of stuff coming up for 2020, so I would subscribe so you don't miss anything. But other than that, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.